Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, then what's up? My name's Michelle, and yeah, let's get into this video. So for today's video, I am doing a formal dress collection slash uh, your next formal occasion idea video. So in this video, I'm literally just going through my closet and pulling the, all the formal dresses I own and then I'm just showing you all of them and talking about them So it kind of gives you an idea on what to wear for your next formal event. So let's get started The very first dress I'm going to show you is one of my newest favorite ones I actually wore this on New Year's and did get asked quite a few times if it was a robe or not um, But it is a pink dress from Nasty Gal. It's satin which I kind of see is robe-ish in the way that it's satin and that it ties up in the front. So yeah, it was super fun, super comfy. It's so flowy and like covers a lot, so it's kind of modest in a way. Um, and I do have to say it's sort of a classic piece that just because satin is like really big right now, just like my blouse right now, doesn't mean that this piece will go to style. I really feel like it's one that I bought and I could wear for like a really long time. Um, I also bought it when Nasty Gal did their Black Friday sale and I think that they still have a sale going on right now so I have to recommend it. I'm a huge fan of Nasty Gal too. The pants that I'm wearing that you can't even see are from there and I just like keep doing hauls accidentally without showing you guys. Um, so yeah, Nasty Gal is like my like guilty pleasure. Uh, the next one I'm gonna show you, what? It's not the same dress. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of mad at this dress. This is a pink dress from Boutique 1861. But the thing is, is that I thought that Boutique 1861 was like all original dresses. It's a clothing boutique in Montreal, Canada, which I'm from Canada. Um, so it's very like, I thought that it was like handmade, I thought that it was gonna be like a one of the kind or at least like they only made a run dress and then I did end up finding months later, actually really recently, um, I discovered Red Dress Boutique and found the same exact dress for like half the price on it so I'm gonna give you guys the link not to Boutique 1861 but to uh, Red Dress Boutique on where you can get this dress because to be fair as mad as I am about the fact that that dress isn't as unique and one of a kind as I thought it was it's still a really nice dress and surprisingly I was able to wear it all night dancing and not fall out so I do have to recommend this one to you guys because like that's really impressive <laughs> for a dress this low cut too. The next one I'm wearing is back when American Apparel was in their absolute prime. Everyone and their dog had this dress, so of course I bought it. Um, it's this black super short dress. I have definitely showed a lot of people my butt by accident when I wore this dress, but I've owned it for literally eight years at this point. It looks like it's in the same quality that I bought it like all eight years ago. It has aged beautifully and because it's such like a black, you know, everyone needs a little black dress. This black dress has like been able to be that black dress for me. Though American Apparel isn't, I don't think it's existent anymore. I can't remember if it is or not, but saying that, I will try to find something similar. But really guys, just if you are going to a formal event and you need a good dress, then a black dress is always, it's just always like gonna be good. You know, you'll never feel like crap in a really cute black dress. So that's why I'm throwing this one up. And I do love a good DV and the cheer like mesh detail is super awesome. So if I can find one similar, I will link it down below because I love this. Actually, I haven't worn it in a while. So maybe filming this and making this video make me want to wear it again. The next dress I'm going to talk to you guys about, I actually got on sale at Red Dress Boutique. Red Dress Boutique is a store that I literally never knew existed until I found it randomly on Instagram. And they update their clothing like literally daily. And I was like really wary when I bought on them thinking that their stuff would be like not as good quality. Maybe it'd be like China made uh, but no, like this dress is literally the comfiest thing in the world. The fabric itself is like super soft. It almost feels like like cashmere or something. Like it's just that soft. And I love the like layering details. I think it's good if you have to go somewhere where like you're eating all night <laughs> um, so that you can totally like eat a lot and not be able to tell because it's so layery that if you got a bloat going on, like no one would even know. Um, and then it's totally not in my usual color. Wearing orange is so random, but it was like $24 when I bought it, so I couldn't really say no to that. So that's why I'm including it in this roundup. And the last dress, oh my god, I have such a love for this dress. I literally spent months and months thinking about buying it. I had nowhere to wear it, so I was like, what, what am I doing? If I buy a, like, like hundred dollar dress from Pretty Little Thing, get it shipped from the UK, like I have to have an occasion for it. 
I didn't have an occasion, I just bought it anyways, and I'm so happy I did. I love the look of this dress on me. It is so, it's like literally body conic. No one can look bad in that dress. Like it like sucks you all up in there and shows off your shape really nicely. The one thing I'll say about it though is that it's not made for an event that you have to like walk a lot in. Like it literally is so mermaid that like all you can move is your little two feet like at the end of it because it cinches everything in. So I did end up being lucky enough to find an event to wear this to and I wore it to a charity gala and I have to say like a lot of the night my friends were walking and I was like I will catch up with you guys later like I am slow motion in this dress so if you have a plan to like dance all night or go to a wedding that's outside then maybe I wouldn't recommend this one but it is it's so beautiful that like if you're going for like a photo shoot or you're going for like an event where you know you're not moving a lot then like would highly recommend it. But before I go, I do want to mention that these dresses were given as like a sneak peek this morning, Tuesday morning, on my TikTok account, which I just made. I totally never thought I would make a TikTok account, but someone told me that it was a really good idea to play with TikTok's algorithm because it's new and so many people are like just getting into it or something that like you're more likely to be shown. And so if you want to see more sneak peeks to my videos, then you can go and follow me on TikTok. You follow on TikTok, right? And you'll see a lot more fashion content from me on there. Of course, you'll see it on here too, but who knows? what you'll see first. I, I don't have any plans. So guys, that's the end of my video. Let me know if you like this video and let me know if you want to see more like it because I had fun pulling out all my fancy dresses. Like this video if you guys like this video and subscribe if you feel like subscribing and I will see you guys Sunday because I am back on, I don't know if you've noticed, but I am back on my Sunday and Wednesday filming schedule. So yeah, you'll, you'll see a lot more of me. Okay guys, bye.